Today's video is going to be talking about how to come up with your own home cleaning schedule. Hi and welcome back. My name is Victoria and I run Time and Tenderness here on YouTube and on Instagram. If you aren't following me on Instagram, you really should. I am currently running a really exciting giveaway that closes on Friday, which by the time I upload this video will be tomorrow. So go ahead and find me on Instagram. The link will be in the description down below and follow me and enter that giveaway. All right, let's get started with this video on how to come up with your own home cleaning schedule. So before I got married, I lived at home with my parents and my brother. So any chores that I had at home, they were cleaning chores. I did take care of cleaning my room. I did help with some uh, household chores like cleaning the bathroom, cleaning the kitchen, but it was a shared responsibility between the rest of the family. Now that I have my own home, most of the cleaning falls to me. My husband does help me, but as a homemaker, it is my priority and it is my job now to keep the home clean and clean and tidy. And I really do enjoy it. Like being a homemaker, that's my job. I get take pride in keeping the house clean and tidy. And I do really appreciate when my husband does help me as a surprise. There have been times where I have come home and he has gotten off work early and he came home and he decided to clean the whole house for me so that I didn't have to worry about it the rest of the day and so that we could spend time together. And those are times that I really appreciate. But let's get started with how to create your own cleaning schedule. From early on, I developed a cleaning schedule that has been working for us. It's not the most perfect cleaning schedule, but it does work for us and I'm going to be sharing it with you today. So the best thing to do is to establish what needs to be done every day. Those tasks include making your bed, washing dishes, putting away dishes, wiping down the counters, cleaning your dining room or kitchen table, and putting away items that had been previously taken out. Making a habit of doing all these things every day will make sure that cleaning as a whole will be much easier in the long run. Cleaning doesn't have to be an all day event. It doesn't mean you have to be in sweatpants and dirty clothes with your hair up in a messy bun and just scrubbing away at the baseboards or the tile grout in the bathroom every week. If you do a little bit each day, your cleaning responsibility will be far less stressful and you're always gonna have a clean house if you just do a little bit every day. Once you've gotten the daily chores out of the way, you can move on to chores that should be done on a weekly basis. These chores include dusting, vacuuming and mopping, cleaning the mirrors and glass, cleaning the bathroom, as well as polishing any stainless steel in your kitchen. With each of these weekly tasks done, you can sit back and relax knowing that you are sitting in a nice tidy house and if you are keeping up with the daily tidying up of things, of putting things away, just wiping down surfaces after you use them, you'll notice that all that hard work that you did cleaning, it'll last a lot longer and you'll be able to enjoy it for a lot longer of a period of time. So for example, if you make a habit of wiping down the bathroom counter and sink after every use with say a microfiber cloth or just a, um, like a Clorox wipe, if you just make a habit of wiping down those surfaces at least once a day, you'll notice that your bathroom is gonna look a whole lot cleaner because it's the little things that really start to make a bathroom look gross, like hair in the sink or toothpaste smeared out of the bottle. If you take your time and just wipe up after you use every single day, you'll notice that your bathroom will look a whole lot cleaner until you get in there to really sanitize it once a week. Now I have one whole day a week that I set aside to do all the cleaning in my house. Might that be possible for you as well? Or if you can't set aside one whole day to do all the cleaning, could you set aside maybe 30 minutes to an hour of cleaning each day? Just in addition to doing all the daily tasks of making your bed, wiping down the counters, putting, putting away dishes and washing dishes, could you possibly say take 30 minutes to vacuum real quick uh, once a week? Or could you take uh, 30 minutes to dust real quick? You know, something like that that you can just cram in one bigger task a day and that way throughout the whole entire week you're getting things done. Now that we've covered the daily tasks and the weekly tasks, we are now going to cover the monthly tasks, things that should be done at least once a month. Those tasks include washing bedding, 
uh, dusting ceiling fans and light fixtures, polishing wood furniture, cleaning out trash cans, wiping down the cabinets in your kitchen, cleaning your windowsills and light switches, running cleaning cycles on your appliances, both your washing machine and your dishwasher. I feel that when you have a clean and tidy home, it just adds to your overall peace and happiness. And it doesn't have to start when you have a home or an apartment. You can start wherever you are now. So if you are still living at home with your parents or if you're in a roommate situation, just find a task that you really enjoy doing or even if you don't enjoy doing but it does annoy you when it doesn't get done, just do it. Or if your parents don't want you to do cleaning, they're really picky, just find something that you can do. Could you keep your room clean? Could you keep your car clean? Could you just wipe up after yourself? Just start developing good habits now so that you can take, with those, take those good habits with you into the future. A tool that I have been using recently is this special expansion pack from the Happy Planner. Now it's um, an expansion pack, meaning so if you have another Happy Planner planner, you can put it inside of that planner to expand your planner. So I got this expansion pack um, and it it's the household one. I will leave the link for it in the description down below. And this is not sponsored. This is just something that I found and I wanna share with you guys. But there it's the home um, expansion pack. And what I really like is this first section here, which is the chore section. And on each day it has, um, well each section is, so you have four daily chores section and then you have the weekly chores section and the monthly chores section. And what really helps me um, with getting my chores accomplished and getting my daily and weekly and monthly cleaning routine done is to see my progress with these check sheets. So you can fill in these little boxes, color them in, put a check mark, put stickers, whatever you wanna do to help you feel more accomplished. So now you know which chores should be done weekly, which ones should be done daily, and which ones should be done monthly. So now you can sit down with your own personal schedule and see where you can buy out the time to get all of these chores done because we all need to have a clean living space. Cleanliness is next to godliness. So we really need to buy out the time to really get these cleaning tasks done. So like I said before, can you take spend 30 minutes a day to do some things? Can you spend an hour? Can you devote a whole day once a week to doing all your cleaning things? It's completely up to you. Just take all of the chores that you know in your mind that need to be done and prioritize them from most important to least important and try to figure them out into your schedule. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram so that you can enter that giveaway. I hope to see you guys next time and I will see you next week.